Good morning to you all from Holy Trinity in Formby and St Michael and All Angels in Orkar. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, beginning at verse 2. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, making her stand before all of them. They said to him, Teacher, this woman has was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And when they heard it, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go on your way, and from now on, do not sin. A couple of thoughts. The scholars tell us that actually this reading has no place in John's Gospel. Many of the commentaries leave it out completely. And I probably agree with them. But what is clear is that this passage is authentically about Jesus. What do I mean by that? Well, actually, when we think about the character of Jesus that we read in the Gospels, we can see that this passage is entirely consistent with the way that Jesus treats people. Earlier in John's Gospel, Jesus has already said in his encounter with Nicodemus that he hasn't come into the world to condemn but rather to draw all people to himself you know sometimes when i'm talking to people there's that feeling that if they were to walk into church the roof would fall in on down on them truth is it never has and it never will because jesus doesn't condemn us rather he calls us to amendment of life when we discover that we're loved, that we have a purpose following Jesus, our behaviour patterns start to change. And as we invite him to bring his love into our lives, our character is conformed to his. The Apostle Paul would put it like this, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So let us pray. The Collect for Passion Tide. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so may the Lord Jesus bless you and keep you, now and always. Amen.